Okay, so that Law of Attraction video, part one, cut off with people being going up on mountains and having people bring them food. So I'm not sure I may repeat myself on this one, so expect that. But your Law of Attraction works every day, all day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week on all things. It isn't just what you consciously say to the law of the universe. Okay, the law of attraction in the universe. It is what runs and creates your life every day, all day. And it comes from how you vibrate, your frequency. Now, a lot of that is an automatic pilot. The way you look, that's all. The way you look every day in the now is recreated every moment of every day. It's recreated by your vibrating a certain way with the belief system that you look the way that you look. You look the way that you look because you were trained to look this way by people saying things like you look like your mother, you look like your father, you look like your great aunt, Opal, whatever, that you have two feet and two arms and two ears and all that stuff you recreate. Um, every moment of every day. Those are all vibrations that are going to the law of the universe that are recreated. Everything that you see around you and the way that you believe that it looks, that is all vibrating from you. Do you are you starting to see the complexity of the law of attraction? Everything goes out and comes back in that now moment and is recreated in split second after now moment after now moment after now moment that's recreated by whatever your vibration is so you inserting things like a new car into the mix it's not a singular want it's not a singular vibration you're putting it into the vibrations that are going on to create your life as you know it that you do every day that's what I say whenever I say you are a powerful God because you are the one that is creating this now, a lot of it you're doing subconsciously because you are in amnesia, but it doesn't change the fact that you are doing it. So these people that come in and start teaching about law of attraction to get you to start creating stuff and getting it to come to you, whether it's a cup of coffee or a Lamborghini, it doesn't matter. The point is for you to start remembering that you are the one that's creating all of this. And you're doing it by vibrating a certain at a certain frequency that goes out and then it gets interpreted and everything around you uh, matches. And what you do is you go to a timeline. You don't change anything. You go to a timeline where the entity that is playing the Lamborghini agrees to be your Lamborghini and that process um, happens because everything has consciousness, right? So it's not that you change everything. You're not a, a god of, of other gods. You are a god over your existence. And what you do is you state with your vibration, I want this, and you will go where every other god around you agrees with you to create that moment in time. And it changes every now moment after every now moment. So when you say, let's say that you do it right, and you say... Um, I want the love of my life, okay? And you sit that out. And let's say that it takes a week to get you the love of your life, for you to meet them for the first time. In that week, because you've gotten really good at this, is you change all of your energy to, I want the job that I want. Now, you're days, two days away from possibly meeting the love of your life at the job that you've got. But... You changed it to the job that you want. Now everything has to change according to that. Now, what people do, and this is the reason why I just don't know how regular psychics keep up. I, I would never want to. Is that everything that you do, everything that you hear, changes your vibration and changes you onto a different timeline. So what is true for you right this moment is not going to be true for you even the next second. Everything changes. Everything always does. And it changes based on what you see around you. Now, when you become really conscious of what you're doing, you can change a lot really, really fast. You can go from uh, one situation 
to a completely different situation depending upon where you focus your energy, what you call into being, okay? And that is true for everything, not just the love of your life or the job that you get, okay? So let's say a lot of people that follow me, this is what they do. They say, okay, I want uh, money and I want the love of my life and I want um, I want, well, I want, I want, I want stuff on this physical plane in 4D where we are. But at the same time, they say, I want to go to 5D. Well, a lot of times those two things are in direct conflict. So now you've got a situation where you've got two uh, messages that you're a God, you get what you want, that are going out to the universe and they bounce back and forth. Okay, you want to be successful in the fourth dimension where you are here. On a planet that is leaving so we've got to set you up to go off planet and then you've also got a, a a message that says I want to stay on this planet and go into the fifth dimension with earth and those are two absolutely conflicting messages that, that absolutely for once cannot be done together because the earth is going into 5D. Gaia is leaving. She's not going to be in the fourth dimension. So you send a message that says, I want to be successful, fill in the blank, in the fourth dimension. That's off planet. Fifth dimension is on planet. Getting to fifth dimension is leaving behind everything in fourth dimension. So if you're getting all the things in fourth dimension, it is conflicts with going to the fifth dimension where you don't need anything because you create everything for yourself in the moment because you've lost your amnesia you know your creator god and you know how to do it completely so in order to do that you have to leave all that stuff behind you don't need to worry about a job you don't have jobs in 5d uh the love of your life if you if done right you can do that if, if you both are going to 5d that one will be fine you're very careful about who you pick but most of the time um, the energy goes to things here and it pulls away from 5d which causes you to not see magical creatures so a lot of people are wanting both of these things and those are in they'll jump back and forth and really you end up not being successful with either one is what happens it's just a split it's just too big of a split I hope that makes sense to you guys. All right, let's end this one. This is the end of part two. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Thank you for all the PayPal people and the Patreon people and everybody who does sessions and asks questions with the email. I really appreciate the support. It really helps me a lot. And uh, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you later. Bye now.